Letting balls go out is the most overlooked skill in all of pickleball. Even the pros struggle with this. I'm going to show you a drill to get the light bulb to go off. Dodging out balls is very overwhelming and a hard skill to learn. So for this drill, we're going to determine one spot on our body where our opponent's going to attack us. For me, it's my right shoulder. So my partner here can only speed up the ball toward this right shoulder. We want to remove all other factors. We don't want them to try to confuse us and try to win the point. This is simply for us to be able to determine and read their body language. Is the ball going in or is the ball going out? You have to know if the ball is going in or out before your opponent hits it. You do that by reading body language and by the type of ball your opponent is hitting. For body language, I like to look at a couple things. If it looks like they're gripping it really tight, it's probably going to go out. Do they have body control or is it more of a last resort shot? If they're moving frantically, hitting a speed up, it's probably gonna go out. If it looks like it's a timed, well thought out attack, I would hit that one. Lastly, ball height. When you hit a dink, is it bouncing up here and your opponent's able to get on top of it to hit down? Or are they hitting the ball from below the net way down here? It's probably gonna go out. Keep these in mind when your opponent's going to speed up a ball and you're gonna be way ahead of the competition.